Good morning, Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the USQ Council, distinguished guests, USQ academic staff, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and last but not least, my fellow graduates. I am deeply humbled and honored to stand before you today as valedictorian and speak on behalf of the graduates. After all of these years, we've finally done it, but we couldn't have without a few key people. So I'd like to take a moment to thank all of those who have made our being here today possible. To our families and friends, you have been there, steadfast and unwavering in your support from the beginning, through all the ups and downs. Thank you for your understanding and love. You have helped us through our journey and you were there to celebrate our wins. Thank you for the sacrifices you have made to help us get to where we are today. A heartfelt thank you should also be extended to the USQ staff for your generosity, effort, and the care you put in imparting your knowledge. You've been so patient with us and you were, you were there to make sure we were really able to understand and complete all those tutorial questions. You have provided a forum for open discussion and debate that has allowed us to shape our opinions. Thank you for challenging us and helping us reach this level of success. My fellow graduates, today we have reached another crossroad in our lives. The decision we made to study some years ago has brought us to this point, testimonies in hand, celebrating our achievements. We made a decision to find something better and to do something better in spite of the challenges we faced, such as moving away from home, not spending time with our partners and families, and navigating the challenges of study. Now, after countless hours spent in lecture halls or in front of a screen, in tutorials, studying, and rushing to finish those assignments by 11.55, we're done. I guess we're all experts now, right? Or maybe not. There's always an opportunity to learn. But our university experience wasn't just about study. Over these past years, we've grown as people. We've made lifelong friends when we thought we couldn't. We've met countless people and had conversations about anything and everything with people whose backgrounds, perspectives, and lives differ vastly from our own. If nothing else, it's these memories that I will treasure as we move on from USQ. We've all had experiences that were only possible because of our time here. For me, that was the opportunity to complete my final year of university in Singapore and engage and immerse myself in another world. It was an invaluable experience and something I won't soon forget. For others, the opportunities have been undertaking intensive and rewarding placements in industry, joining clubs and societies, meeting like-minded people who share the same interests, or enjoying the variety of sports on offer. After all of this, we find ourselves more capable, more confident in ourselves and in our abilities, ready, able, and willing to confront the inevitable challenges ahead. I urge you to persist with an open attitude, a clear vision, and a growth mindset. Be inclusive, be caring, be strong. We will go on to shape this world. As we leave this place with our new degrees in hand, traveling down our different paths, let's not forget what it, what it took to get here and the effort it took. I hope that each of us remember how privileged we are to be graduating today, a reality that is but a dream for so many. My fellow graduates, congratulations on your fantastic, long-awaited, and well-deserved achievement. I hope that we continue with the perseverance, resilience, and curiosity that sustained us through university. I will leave you with a slogan from the late 90s. Think different, do better. Thank you. <laughs>